Welcome to Alley 55 Customs. So today we're going to run some codes on a 2007 Jeep uh, Grand Cherokee. And uh, today I'm going to be using the Bosch KTS 340. I've used this for several years now. Um, I do like the Bosch product. I just wanted to kind of do a just a real quick rundown on it. Um, you know, it's very simple to use. Uh, you can buy all sorts of different kinds, like one from AutoZone if you wanted to go with a cheaper brand. Um, you can do the Autel, which is a really nice unit, um, and there's many other ones. And we'll go more in depth with that uh, in the near future because we are going to buy several different uh, code readers. So anyways, let me get this out and we will get rolling on the... So this is the this is the unit. It's a very nice unit. I like it. Uh, like I said, it's it's a little bit older unit, but uh, it works great. Um, it has the automatic VIN identification, and uh, I've never had any problems uh, coming up with a trouble code that I couldn't fix. So let's get her hooked up. Okay. So now you have to look in in, in all different cars. This is your OBD2 port. Um, they're all over the place. Uh, like uh, 2004, I just did a 2004 Mustang today, and uh, their actual port is way over in the corner over here. So you'll find them all over. I have a Land Rover, which is in the middle. So you just kind of have to look for it underneath the dash here. And um, basically what you're going to do is just plug this end of this unit in to the OBD2 port. And what you need to do is you're going to power up to the on position now some of the some of the obd2 hopefully you can see this uh some of the obd2 okay now i'll turn this dude on um can have it running in the on position or in the running position so you can have the engine on and still use it or you can have it in the on position which is the accessories Okay, now on most of these, uh, there's internal batteries um, where you have to charge them up every night. And then, um, but the nice part about these features on these, um, any of the OBD 2s, you plug them into the OBD 2 port and turn the ignition on, and the power from the vehicle actually powers up your unit, your control unit here. So here we are, we're into the first setup screen. Now, all screens will be a little bit different, but they're all pretty self explanatory and relatively easy but what we're going to do is we're going to run across here and there's an automatic vehicle identification number which is your VIN number and this way it picks up the exact vehicle that you're working on so what we'll do is we'll key this and you can actually enter in different selections where if you want to manually put it in if you can't find a VIN number uh, if it can't if the uh, if the unit can't pull up a VIN number then you'll want to enter in your own, uh, you know, 2007, the Jeep, and all that stuff. But there we go. It automatically found the VIN number, which is straight across here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to continue. Okay. And then sometimes it takes a little bit here. So what you're going to do, I mean, there's Global OBD2, which is a generic run of codes, which... I like to be a little bit more uh, controlled on exactly what I'm running and trying to decipher what is going on with the, uh, the vehicle. A global kind of gives you a generic uh, uh, engine code, but we're going to run the engine control unit right there, which is already highlighted, and we're going to run a continue on that. It usually takes a few seconds for it to find what's wrong and pull up, but it usually comes up with uh, like a P number. Um, and then uh, you can actually uh, cross-reference it, and it's pretty easy to do. So um, let's give just a second here. Okay, so on this here, this engine management system pulls up four different codes. So we have four different codes that we have to figure out what's wrong with it and, and then go fix it and clear the codes. So we want to find out what it is. So let's continue again. Okay. Now, 
there's different entries here. Uh, you don't want to clear your DTCs because that basically those are your uh, codes that actually you want to read. And if you clear them, well, guess what? You're not going to be reading them. Uh, the only way to get them back up on there is to start driving the vehicle again, and then the uh, check engine light will pop back up, usually relatively quick. So we're going to run the DTCs, which would be the second one down, and then you're just going to hit DTC, and you're going to hit continue. Okay, so now we have four different codes. They're a P, P number, like I stated earlier. Uh, transmission oil pressure is too low. You got a uh, fuel evaporation system, but there's a minor leak in that. Um, the random multiple cylinder misfires detected, and then the fuel evaporation system has a major leak. Okay, so now what you will end up doing is each P number, the P0868, what you'll want to do is you just go into like Google, type that number in, and pull it up. And a lot of times it'll just it, it cross references by itself, and it'll give you usually the first thing to fix um, and different different things that would uh, if you if the first thing didn't fix it then the second or the third one would fix it but usually um, uh, if you run like this system here you can actually go in and it uh, ties into the uh, uh, internet and it actually will pick up what is the primary cause of it so hopefully this will kind of help you out a little bit um, like again, what I would do is I'd take all these P codes. Um, every one of the uh, uh, OBD2 systems, whether it's uh, a cheaper version or super expensive, will bring up your P codes, um, and then you just have to like cross-reference them in, in like the Google or sometimes, like I said, the uh, the main unit itself is tied into the internet and will actually pick up uh, a quick fix, is what they call it. So hopefully this helps you out. Um, or we'll get more in depth on. Um, OBD2 code readers because we're going to buy two or three of them and we're going to do some uh, cross comparison on them. So please. Okay. Um, we just got done finishing all the uh, repairs on this 2007 uh, Jeep um, Grand Cherokee. And hopefully, if we get it all correct, all four of those uh, codes will be gone. So, what you want to do is after you're done installing all the parts that were needed, then what you're going to do is you're going to go back into your code reader. You're going to go in and hit clear the DTCs because then you want it to reset everything in the system uh, like it's back to uh, factory settings, all new. Um, so you'll hit your clear the DTCs. And so you want to hit continue. And up here, right up here, it's going to say error memory is deleted. DTCs were deleted. So everything in your system was completely deleted. You should be good to go. And when you start up your vehicle now, that check engine light that's on your dash that was illuminated should be completely gone. Thank you for watching this video. Um, we'd love to hear from you. So if you do any comments, uh, please subscribe to our channel because we are going to be doing multiple. We get vehicles in weekly. And so we're going to be doing a lot of different vehicles. So you're going to see a an array of different uh, makes, models, years coming through, and we're going to be working on a lot of different things. So like us, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and um, 